Well, here we go. Clean up. Basically, I'm making sure that there's no little bits of uh, dust or even soap, really, because it's soapy water that's used as a lubricant for wet sanding. So I'm walking around and wiping all the way around with a rag. I dampen the rag with mineral spirits or paint thinner. And that is uh, what's going on. That overgrown toothbrush is for cleaning out little crevices because when you're wet sanding you make, make up a slurry of varnish particles and it tends to stick in those little cracks. So I'm making sure that I'm not going to be spraying and encasing little bits of dried varnish. So that's the fun in games. Glamorous job of finishing. I did a lot of this back when I had hair. Almost done. Last one. This one had lots in the corners. Actually, when I got it up onto the turntable, I had to clean it again because I missed something. But, you know, check two or three times before you get all happy and start spraying. Wipe, wipe, wipe. The little film of mineral spirits also preps the uh, varnish below. Actually helps you to get a better uh, contact. You can already see the first one is uh, starting to dry up. Double check. And that's it. So the light areas are areas that have a bit of sanding through to the veneer again. That's me making sure that my air is good and adjustment is made. Lovely. Now we're going to fill up the gun with some finish. So this is a varnish. And that is a paint straining funnel. Has a nice fine mesh. To ensure that I'm not spraying on little bits of uh, hardened varnish, which is what was happening when I was brushing. I, I knew that when I was brushing and I was expecting to sand it through anyway. Right now I would rather not have to do any more sanding. So that's it.